Okay. Zombies, man. Chill out. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. we got here um missing person oh damn let's go back to the law jeez man nice. god. what the hell how do i get you out oh god no these freaking trees uh, Damn. <laughs> and below that situation in town, they weren't demons. They were screamers. The screamers? Very, very, very unlucky infected children. Oh, that's what you call them in Haran. We've seen them before. Uh, people here can't really uh, figure out how they feel about them. But you know they're not human anymore, right? Hey, it's a pretty big leap from knowing something to accepting it. Can you imagine somebody like Jazir taking out his knife and killing a kid? Even if it's a zombie. Bro, why does it keep cutting off? I'm a believer. All right. Let's see, there's no way to turn our farm into a safe house. We tried fire, we tried guns, we prayed to the mother, and still it waits on our land for new victims. That monster is invincible. We know you were counting on us, sorry. Okay. Believers, our kind mother heard our prayers, heard your prayers, and so she grants you a gift that will finally let you spend more time away from your homesteads. A blessed gift passed down in her family from generation to generation. A very special oil, poisonous to the undead, stronger than the unholy venom running through their veins. If anyone of you requires a batch, we have left a fair portion with our kind friend Bilal. You have to only to ask and he will share it with you. Hey Bilal, Ooh. I saw a note about some kind of poisonous oil. What's the deal with it? Yeah, man. Shit works like a charm. So... Can you make me a batch? Well, uh, yeah, but I'm out of Wolfsbane, so you'd have to go get me some. And it probably only grows in a clearing somewhere on the other side of the world. With a couple of demolishers and some toads camped out around it. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. You're cool. And I have shit to do. So, I'll just give you the recipe. Sound good? 
Hey, hell yeah. Alright. Nice. A lot of stuff here. Good stuff. Okay. Shown that you truly believe what you're doing is right. Soon you will become one of us. Okay. Let's see. Um. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I have a lot of quests over there, so. Oh, the rain Kirio is what I want to see. Let's see, as an outsider, you're met with the cold stares unless you show the locals that your intentions are pure. No one will talk to you. As a stranger, you're barely tolerated. Show your worth by helping them, helping the children of the sun with their problems. As a newcomer, you're treated with intensive acceptance. Complete quests and other activities to raise your level of trust even more. Hey, compound crossbow. Seen as an ally of the faceless, you're the person people really depend on. Complete quests and other activities to raise your level of trust even more. As a believer, you're treated as a member of the Children of the Sun. Complete quests. Okay. And then Disciples, the last one. You're among the few who can talk with the faceless directly. Ah. Cool. Let's go to Jazir. What up? More missions over here. Lazarus, believers, we ask you to pray in memory of Archon and his family tonight, and in hopes that the mother's power will aid his daughter in overcoming the trauma. Do not lose hope, brothers and sisters, even if atrocities committed by those monsters seem too hard to bear. Tell me immediately if you see any strangers nearby. Don't let the bandits surprise us as they surprise poor Archon. It is here. Those bandits who took over Archon's farm. Aren't you afraid they're going to target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She can explain the kind of scum we'll be dealing with. Let's and see. maybe try to find Polak too. He used to work at Erkan's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. What the heck? What the hell? Polad. Hey, Polad. I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazir said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. <laughs> Got this guy's letter right here. Let's see. Hey, Polar, I found a letter addressed to you in the post office. Holy shit. Really? Thank you. Wonder what it's about. Um, I hate to ask, but I can't read. My wife always read this stuff for me. But now that she's uh -huh. gone, would you mind? Oh. Yeah, no, no problem. Okay, let's see. You sure you want me to read this? I mean, it's a personal letter. Yes, please. Okay, so... <clears throat> Polot, you damned son of a bitch. Don't you even think about dying out there. If I find out you were killed by a zombie, I'll fucking haunt you in the afterlife. Your ass is mine. Ooh. Love, Talo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I miss that man. Pardon? Dalo, that's my brother. Haven't seen him for months now. Wonder if he's still alive. Thank you so much for bringing me this. Hey. Damn. 
Damn, man. Friends, Yavuz didn't come back from his trip to the quarantine wall. If anybody's going near there, take a look around and try to find him, please. So many of these missing persons posters. <laughs> nizan has been missing for two days now. She probably went back to her old house again. She was paranoid her grandma's shit might have been looted by bandits. Please, somebody, see if you can track her down. Please. We'll pay for Bolter livers. What the... Jazeera, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want Bolter livers? Those damn filthy Bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers... For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare him off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers. Bolter hunting. Whoa. The swift-footed bolters feel safer in the fields of the countryside, so they venture outside during the day and sleep after night falls. The easiest way to find them is to visit their feeding grounds, which are marked on your map. Remember, once they start running, it will be easier to catch them with your buggy than to chase them on foot. Whoa. Interesting. Hmm. Two roads diverged. Huh. <laughs> People, start saving the yellow roots Sabbath was bringing us because there's no telling what's been going on with him lately. If anyone hears anything about him or sees him anywhere, give me a sign as soon as possible. Jazeer. Hey, so you know, Jazir, who's this Sabbath? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. Reclamation. Believers, recently we asked Arshan and Terry to make their farm at safe haven for new families in need. However, they were faced with a problem we couldn't possibly foresee. Brothers and sisters, we are tested again. This time by a new breed of undead and unbelievable strong freaks of nature that we still don't know how to kill. We ask for prayers in Arshan and Terry's memory as well as compassion for Alim and Meli, who managed to escape the slaughter yet still had to witness the tragedy that befell their dearest friends. Jeez, man. Alright, well, Tell up? me about this Sabbat guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals than people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbath. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, oh. huh? Weird. Ask about Trek. Jazeera, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? We don't have a clue. Everything seemed all right, and suddenly people started feeling sick. I hope you'd know something about it. Well, uh, I don't, but I'll see if I can figure out what's going on. Turn to the pumping station. Ask about track going postal. Hey, Jazeera. I got that kid's present. Can you get it to him? You. Risked your life to make a child happy. All I can say is thank you. 
Nice. Alright. Wait, there's just one more. Mm. Reclamation. Where's this freaking... What's this one? Oh, so... You're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No. But you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. Ah. Oh. You can leave now, newcomer. Compound crossbow. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. The letters and stuff. Let's see. Ilum, that's you? Uh, here, brought you something from the post office. Are you kidding? That's great. Wow. For fuck's sake, you brought me my power bill. <laughs> well, don't get mad at me. I don't read other people's mail. I didn't know what it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I'm gonna pay it. Dude. <laughs> what the... <laughs> this guy. One of the letters <laughs> that I found, in, like, the, that we found in the truck, or in the post office, it's, it was his power bill. <laughs> and he's like, dude, you brought me my power bill. What the fuck, man? He's <laughs> like, I don't know what it was, man. I'm not going through your mail. He's like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not going to pay it anyway, so who cares? It's funny. Uh, excuse me, Sarah. I found something for you at the post office. Are you serious? I mean, thank you, but why did you bring this all the way here? I just thought it might be important. Wow. For a moment there, I felt like... like everything was normal again. Like this nightmare never happened. Thank you. Truly. Hey, no problem. Take care. Nice. Uh, what was that? Looting places, whoa. Some locations in the countryside are so hard to reach and so dangerous that they haven't been looted yet. Use your skill and see if you can find anything interesting there. Uh, cool. Alright, let's see who's... Where's this chick at? There she is. What up, Esgi? Hey, Esgi, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Sarah Khan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but... Now. I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her, and her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Oh, this girl, okay. All right, let's see what we got to do here. Um. Have another mission? Ask about track. Oh, okay. Tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbath. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? 